think the peace is knowing that his, his struggle's over, his fight with the devil's over. They wrote a book on helping teens deal with addiction by sharing their family story. Now they're sharing the story of Josiah Counts in the documentary, Josiah. Please welcome Mark. Community. There's so Thank much you so much for spending some time with us today. Uh, we appreciate it. You've been out there getting the message of addiction, especially in teens out there for a long time. Your book is right behind you. Uh, but Josiah Count, he died from a heroin overdose in January of 2018. What made this story so important for you to tell? You know, it's uh, addiction has uh, been a battle in my family and almost every family I talk to. So we wanted to do what we could to, to try to get the message out there to, to give kids a fighting chance uh, to learn about this. Um, uh, disease before it was too late. So one thing led to another when we were publicizing the book and my wife actually ran into uh, the producer of uh, Josiah at an NBA basketball game and I'll, I'll let her tell the rest, but uh, we, we think it's a great project and, and uh, obviously tragic, but it's uh, great to try to uh, get the get the message out to kids before, uh, before it's too late. And Rowena, how, yeah, tell us that story. How did this happen? Well, our family mission is to help eradicate addiction through education and advocacy. And I met Joe Carlini, who was the filmmaker and director of the film, like Mark said, at an NBA game. And, you know, we were just friendly. Um, and then I saw that he was trying to raise money for this documentary. And it really spoke to me as far as this is what our family mission is all about. And so, of course, we helped him finance it. And now we're hoping to get this message out into the whole world because, as you know, the opioid epidemic is sadly very, very big right now in our world. It's devastating. 700,000, 710,000, I believe, in 2020. Record numbers dying uh, from overdoses in the United States. Record numbers of those from uh, opioids and synthetic opioids. Those are some of the numbers, but then we're, we're telling people these people's stories. Who was Josiah? Who was this young man who lost his life uh, to an addiction? I mean, he was, uh, he was an amazing kid. He was, uh, as my daughter and wife had told me, very handsome. Uh, he was an athlete. Uh, I think he got a perfect score in the ACT. He was, uh, he was a, a great student. Um, one thing led to another. A lot of these stories go with an injury and some pain pills that were uh, dispensed uh, innocently enough. And, um, you know, you fast forward through the, uh, history of addicts, they get pain pills uh, legally and innocently. And then three years later, they're, you know, on the street buying heroin because their, their body can't get off it. But he was he was uh, he was an all-American superstar uh, kid. What well, really hit me, Carlo, was this was this could be anyone's kid. Yeah, I mean, God forbid it's one of our children. This, this is happening to all of our children in this country. It's so sad. And we focused on the Couts family because like you said, it's about the stories and hopefully this story will touch someone out there and will make a difference. We have less than a minute left, but I want to ask both of you, you know, it, no one thinks it's going to be their child. No one thinks it's going to happen to them. Who needs to see this and why? You know, our, our, our story and our message, and we think it's right, is that uh, parents need to have these conversations with their kids before high school. We wrote the uh, the book, which is uh, behind you uh, and available with anyone for free uh, uh, for middle schoolers. You have to have these discussions and the hard the hard uh, examples, and this is a hard real life example of a, of a kid. Um, you have to have it in middle school, and so by the time they go to high school and they're pressured with alcohol and drugs and vaping and God knows what else is out there today, that they have a fighting chance that they know what to say to the peer pressure. So it's uh, it, it's really. For, for families and kids as uh, early as uh, middle school. Mark and Rowena Treitler, thank you so much for your time for sharing this message. We're gonna tell our audience uh, about this showing and, and hope that they show up. And we look forward to reconnecting you in the future because this discussion about addiction and communication to teens is so critical. Thank you for your mission and your time. Thank you, Carlo.